Mr. G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of Emperor! Let's head on through the second tunnel, through Way. And this is the final dungeon of the game. There is no, like, massive enemy fortress or anything you gotta go through or anything like that. No, no, it's this cave and then we get to the overworld again. You gotta get over to Chin Castle, but there's still a lot of really good stuff for us to find along the way. So let's see what we can find around here. But, oh right, got him. Yeah, that guy's pretty easy to take down. Oh, we did fight him before. But, uh, nope, nope, you're, you're on your own. Screw you. Fortunately, this dungeon is a bit more straightforward than the first tunnel we came through to get here. We should be able to pretty much one-shot any rebel force at this point, except for the one guy with the crossbow. I think Jianwei still has that one. But this problem will be resolved soon. Very soon. But, uh, let's see. Now, these guys, I'm not really worried about them either. We can easily afford to go all out against them. Although, I am starting to get a little light on elixirs at this point, but we'll be okay. Worst case scenario, we've got Jin Zeon to pick up the slack. Let's see, with this guy... No, he's nothing special there. There's another guy, uh, Yangju, who actually has access to Jimion, but, uh, no, that's not this guy. In fact, in my, uh, database, he's listed right next to Kaoji, so I was like, wait, what? No, 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 Kaoji is different from Yangju. But this guy was neither of them, so don't worry about it. Well, at least the enemies are taking it easy on me now. Yeah, watch out for those battles against, like, three or four generals. Even if they don't have Jimion, it could take forever to kill them. But we're going to find something that will help with that. Very soon. Let's see, this guy... Nope, nothing special about him. So, yeah, you see, this is why I wasn't recruiting just any random general that I could along the way, because that way I can run into these guys here. All right, looks like Lusun dropped below 10,000 soldiers, but let me see how the rest of the party is looking there. Okay, so I don't think anyone else is like really that close. I could probably use Elixir on Lusun, but how about we wait a little bit until we get the next treasure? This is going to be the last of the treasure that we find in the game. Though there's still a lot of fighting to do, even after this dungeon. Still a lot left to go, so just go around here. And over here, we get the more ultimate than ultimate weapon in the game. Uh, Halberd? Really? That's it? No fancy creative name for... The more ultimate than ultimate weapon? Uh, yeah, apparently not. It's just Hubbard and that's it. But, uh, okay, so now to put that to use, let's get rid of the crossbow for Jiang Wei and then hand down Bo Ye over to him. And then let's see, with Zhao Yun, let's hand down Qing Long over to the Sun because he's got pretty good strength there. And then with the halberd, give that over to Zhao Yun or whoever in your party has the most strength. Now, the, what makes this weapon so powerful, even though it has 250 attack points compared to... Oh, no, not you. Uh, compared to, yeah, like... Uh, the legendary weapons we had before there that had 240 attack points, the halberd is, will deal double the damage of any weapon that has 240 attack points. It is way more powerful than it might look just on the status menu there. 
and I will be taking great advantage of that. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm just thinking if I wanted to use Jinjian, but no, no, we'll just go with an elixir on Lusun that'll get us by for now. And there's still one more of those swords that we had forged for us that we have yet to find again. So let's see what we can well, find over here. More elixirs. Awesome. I could use the help. And up here we pick up a plate mail that I actually want Zhuge Liang to equip. So that way I don't have to shuffle around my equipment anymore. A going hmm, might be useful eventually, although by the time I would want one, I could buy it again. But over here, a steel helmet. The ultimate helmet in the game. I also want Ajuga the Young to equip that as well, but I still need a weapon for him. So let's keep taking a look around. Whoop, no, not the iron helmet. The steel helmet would be much more powerful. There you go. And I'll clean up the inventory eventually. Between episodes, basically what I've been doing the whole time. Okay, so with these guys, no, there's nothing really special about them. Yeah, we could just go all out for now, though I might want to be a little careful. Yep, there we go. Okay, so Zhao Dwen is low there. Okay, how much do we got left? Hmm, I'm just thinking if I want to use Jin Jian here. I don't think so. Now, we'll just go with what I've got, heal up Zhao Dwen, and go from there. But yeah, let's uh, get you back on your feet, or, well, your soldiers back on your feet. There you go. We're good to go. Okay, so on this floor is another chest that I missed out on the first time I played the game. Thanks to the tactician chest glitch. But this time we can get that. And yeah, now we can just cut right through the generals with the halberd. It's so good. All right, and up here we pick up the fifth and final of the five swords, Qingguang. And that one is just as powerful as Qinglong. So let me see what I want to do with that. Let's see, I want to give that to Jiang Wei, but I want to give Bo Ye over to Zhuge Liang. So we got the five swords that were forged for us, and then the halberd. So we've got one for all of my main party members and one extra there. Okay, so yeah, let's give this over to Jiang Wei. So now we've got three of the really good swords and the halberd on my four of my main five party members there. Hooray! Okay, then let's see, nothing to the left there. But there is some stuff over here. Well, not that I need it. I'm not going to warp out of you just to heal up or anything. I mean, you can do that if you want, viewers, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just thinking if I still want to use uh, Jin Qian at some point, only two of my party members would, well, maybe three might benefit from it, but I'd like to wait a little longer on that. More power pills. Awesome. Eventually, I'll have Zhao Yun using a lot of the power pills because of his higher uh, attack power. Like, in order to conserve my TP, maybe just go with uh, Beiji on him and or have him using the power pills and maybe having the other party members funneling them to him to resupply him between battles or something like that. So, yeah, we don't need to leave just to heal up and get back here. This, lo this walk has been long enough as it is. But now... Game! I was almost out of here! Alright, finally! One more batch of 
rebel scum. But can we catch up with Simayi around here? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.